Hi guys, in my last video I painted my kitchen cupboard fronts and everything inside. Uh, so if you are interested in seeing that, I'll link it in the description box below. I want to paint these green tiles white. Um, there's nothing really wrong with them, it just doesn't really go with my like decor style. So to start off with, I just clean the tiles with some sugar soap and a cloth. I clean them every day so there wasn't really much grease on them anyway. But it's the grout lines had probably, you know, stuff on them that is really hard to get out. I take a damp hand towel and just wipe all of that away. And then I use some frog tape to line the kitchen worktop. I end up doing two layers of frog tape because I bought the wrong one. Just kind of let the tiles dry whilst I sort out the paint pot. So I'm using the same brand as I use for the kitchen cupboards. This is the V33 wall tile and panelling paint. Um, I just thought I liked the other one and it was easy to clean and this is supposed to have the same kind of waterproof barrier protection kind of stuff. So once you get the bucket open, um, it comes with a little potion and you've got to mix it in and stir for about five minutes so I just do that with a plastic fork um, and just be careful because it does splatter everywhere when you open it and that's my husband pretending to contribute there is a little bit of fume so I did have to open the windows and doors but I start off with just using a paintbrush to do the edges and the grout lines and then I go in with a mini foam roller and just do the rest of it. And this is like a beveled edge subway tile, so I, I'm putting pressure on the roller. So this is what the first coat looks like. And yes, it looks terrible. And yes, you regret everything and want to go back, but you just got to persevere because it'll look good at the end. Um, so this is me applying the second coat. I think it's six hours between coats, so just wait for it to fully dry before you decide on how many coats. I did end up having to do uh, five coats in total, so this is the fourth coat, which is opaque, but not in the sunlight, so I did end up doing five coats. And this is the final result. I think it looks really good. It really brightens up the whole area. And um, I'll show you what it looks like close up. So. It's, you know, it's obviously painted, there's no kind of getting around that, there is a bit of like texture looking, but it's okay, it kind of gives it character. And I actually kind of prefer that the grout is painted as well because then it's easy to clean the grout. And here are some dried on beans, so I'm just going to show you how I clean it. I'm using an e-cloth, a damp e-cloth just with some water, um, but I do have to apply some pressure to kind of get it off. So it's not as easy to clean as the cupboards, but still easy to clean. So just a reminder of what the kitchen looked like before, as in before, you know, after I painted the kitchen cupboards. And this is what it looks like after. I'm really happy with the result. It's totally more my decor style and I just think it looks really high end and new. Um, this probably cost me, I don't know. The paint cost like 26 pounds, but all in all the transformation was probably like about 200 pounds, you know, with the handles and the paint and all this other stuff. I also changed the, um, the tap to a brass tap and I got a plumber to come in and install that so it did cost me a bit more having to do that and then I also got a new bamboo and matte black dish rack to kind of match the rest of the house because even though I have a dishwasher you still need a dish rack to put like your chopping boards and wooden stuff on so yeah that's pretty much it I hope you liked the transformation and uh, stay tuned for you know future videos and I will see you next time.